So just doing a quick video of doing an install on the dash side of the Toyota 4Runner. I have a 2007 Toyota 4Runner and the lights that light up in the back of the instrument panel cluster are currently out. Okay, so currently the lights that are out that I'm thinking of are right here and here. You can see that the arrows light up, but like the back lighting where the low, the high, the off position, the auto position, the up temperature, down temperature, and like these buttons aren't visible at night. So what I'm gonna do is use the packet that I received from Amazon today. This is the packet of bulbs that I ordered off of Amazon. And I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description box of where I found them. Pretty much, there's just a few things that I need to do to pop off this. Okay, here's a better example of what the lights are looking like without it installed. Okay, it's a complete nighttime shop. Right, look here, I turn on the dome light and you can tell that these lights are not visible here. So that's what I'm gonna be replacing is these two middle lights here to get it shining brightly again. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna do is remove this part here. This will just pop right off like that. I use it to carry cables and things like screws and whatnot. And then right here, you're gonna find a screw to undo. And that'll be a Phillips screwdriver that will be used to get that undone. Get that screw off of there. And then this just pops out. You could pull on it. You could be rough with it, don't worry. It's not gonna break, it'll pop back in. Okay, so the middle ones are what I'm focusing on. Out of the instrument cluster, this bulb right here is the one that I'm trying to get into. So using just a flathead screwdriver like this, just take it right there and unscrew it. And it should pop out right there. These are the bulbs that are old. They're the ones that I just took out. And in this packet of bulbs, it looks like these ones right here with the green tips. I gotta get two of those to replace them with. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop these new ones into here. Like so. And tighten it here. Okay, at this point, it's good to check and make sure that this connection is working. So I'm going to connect this harness back up and all the lights are now illuminated. Perfect. So now, just put this back in like I pulled it out. There it goes, popped and popped. Okay, now that that is tightened, thing here, I mean, a lot of people use this for storing their wallet and whatnot. I carry a blade in there too. Okay, so just push down. Okay, make sure everything works good as installed and that's it. That is how you replace it. Okay, so I'm dimming the light here. I can raise the light here and all the temperature controls look like it's illuminating good. I hope you found this tutorial informational. If you're looking for more Forerunner tips and tricks, then subscribe to this channel and go ahead, like this video, share it out to any friends that you might know who have a dimmed out light instrument panel and just don't know how to replace it. It's a real simple fix. Took me like five minutes to do. Hot bar, I'm fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the park, that.